after 9-11. Business boo boo boom. Blackwater is a sleek, glossy, fast-moving sports car in the world of private security companies. Blackwater is one of the largest and most conspicuous security firms in Iraq, staffed largely by retired U.S. military, including former members of the Special Forces. They started off as a training facility. They offered range space, they trained sportsmen, they sold target systems. Five years ago, they were just about to go under, and um, then this Iraq war started. Business boomed. Blackwater is the brainchild of camera-shy, multi-millionaire Eric Prince. Eric Prince was son of a wealthy industrialist who made his fortune with the lighted visor for cars. Prince himself is a former Navy SEAL. On a carrier, he saw how peacekeeping operations were conducted. He thought he had a better idea. He could privatize some of those. For those of you who don't already know, I quit the job at the law firm and I'm now working for a private security company in Iraq. I'm on a six on, three off rotation. Six weeks on, three weeks off. The contract is huge, 200 men doing close protection tasks, or PSD as the Americans call it. There are swarms of other firms of private contractors all over the place, some complete cowboy outfits. But this one is fairly sharp, so I'm not too worried about getting killed. I'm currently tasked to the Baghdad office working out of a villa in the Green Zone, where the CPA, that's the Coalition Provisional Authority, has set up shop. The city on the whole was in ruins, but it doesn't seem all that dangerous right now. Allah Akbar! George Bush has created the ultimate Wild West scenario in Iraq. If you've got a gun and you're for hire, there's, there's work for you. A mercenary is somebody who goes and fights and gets paid for it. Private military firms are the corporate evolution of the age-old mercenary trade. If someone wants to go and overthrow a despot government, they're going to be hard pushed to get the right type of guys, because most of those guys are actually working in Iraq. You put civilian contractors, guns, drugs, diamonds, arms embargoes, gold in the same scenario, you can mix that up into quite a nice little recipe for a disaster. The CPA specifically stated that contractors don't fall under Iraqi law. If you look at it from the Iraqi point of view, that means that contractors can operate with impunity. I would not work for a criminal entity, and obviously that it's my call whether that entity is criminal or, or, or not. You tell people you'll inch it, you know, back. If they don't see the gun... You may have to make contact with that vehicle to let it know that it needs to move out of the way. If they don't stop, then the second burst goes into the engine. If they continue to come, then the third one goes into the driver. Did you hit his car or did you shoot in front of him? I shot in front of him. It may have fucking...